Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Distinguished Senator Kashim Shetima, GCON, our leader. Your Excellencies, my colleagues, the Executive Governors of Adama, Borno Gombe, and Yobe States. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Bauchi State, members of the National Assembly, honorable ministers that are here, honorable speaker of the Bauchi State House of Assembly, my lords, the Chief Judge and the Grand Cardi, members of the Bauchi State House of Assembly, the Secretary of the Government, the Head of Service and the Chief of Staff, your Royal Highnesses, the emirs that are here, especially His Royal Highness the Emir of Bauchi, and all the emirs from Bauchi State, and His Royal Highness the Emir of Gombe, the permanent secretaries, heads of security agencies that are here, the secretaries to the government of the zone, the DG and EDC, the DG of the Nigerian Governors Forum Northeast, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. All praise and gratitude be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most beneficent and the most merciful, for making it possible for us to be here today for the commissioning of the remodeled Bauchi State Government House Complex. It is a thing of great joy to witness the excitement exhibited by our compatriots who have left other pressing engagements to mark this milestone with this administration, especially my bosses and my leaders, the former governors whom their representatives spoke, uh, Abu Tugarba and the Walim Bauchi, His Excellency Alaja Ahmed Adamu and all the other governors who spearheaded the growth of this very important state. I want to specially thank His Excellency, Senator Kashim Shetima Jisi Oin, Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, for honoring us with, the, with his presence to commission the project. He has shown himself as a patriot who patronizes who prioritizes the broader and nobler demands of national unity and progress over narrow and destructive partisan interests that dot the shifting quicksands of our political landmark. Your Excellency, I have always admired you even before you became the Vice President. Your humility, your depth of knowledge and understanding of the economy and the, the whole global landscape has really made you one of the fittest Vice President Nigeria has ever produced. Your Excellency, it is therefore with utmost humility and profound respect that I, on behalf of myself, my family, the government and good people of both states, especially our former governors, that I welcome you to this historic occasion. Let me also extend very warm welcome to my brother, governors, and my colleagues from the zone. Your Excellencies, it will be recalled that at the insertion of this administration during my first time in 2019, we had enunciated a clear policy thrust under my Boucher project agenda, aiming at improving the welfare of our people, orchestrating a robust and diversified economy, and upscaling both the social sector and infrastructure these ramifications. The remodeling of the dilapidated, badly mismanaged, inadequate government house fell under our infrastructure remediation program, even as all, we also identify it as a strategic cornerstone of our ambitious urban renewal agenda. Your Excellency, I want to say without equivocation that even contemplated running for the office of the governor, I had always considered the previous government house as an affront to the state. Due to the tedium of governmental administration that have compelled us to, lo to lose hours 
in a very unconducive environment. And what about our visitors, those guests, our development partners, who have been privileged to interact with other nations and other subnational entities in other states and seeing what we are with our demographics, with our historical pedigree at the center of new politics in Nigeria. My tenancy of the government house from 2019 provided an instant and compelling justification for my earlier covenant and indeed brought to the fore the agency of holistically resetting the architectural and psychological milieu of both state government house. Characterized by inadequate space, as described by the previous speaker, I needed no further conviction that the question of remodeling the government house had been overstaken by whether it will be done, but it's just a matter of time. The pertinent question had become when and indeed how. That I kept it on hold was born of the dictum that what concerns us come last at the pilot of our dream reconstruction effort, I and my family could afford to suffer personal inconveniences if that was going to serve the people of Bochy State. But it was a delicate balancing act between, on one hand, self-denial, on the other, operational efficiency, minimum convenience, the image of the state, and the security of both the governor and those working around him that were exposed to the vagaries of a lot of challenges, security bridges, and so on. So we decided to ask, what you see today is the outcome of the decision and action. Standing on those hollow tufts of our government house where a generation of patriots living and dead diligently serve the state, Your Excellency, I feel a modest sense of fulfillment, not just because we dared, but because we dared it in a big way. Let me quickly say that over the years I have developed the paradigm of big thinking in government. Big thinking allows us to envision the future, to deploy today's resources in a manner that anticipates the needs of our great grandchildren and not just our children. With big thinking, we avoid the, avoid the innocent mistakes that limited the vision of our highly patriotic progenitors who built narrow bridges, constructed single lane roads, and captured the electricity to take care of limited number of consumers, domestic and corporate. Nigeria and Nigerians are still suffering the consequences of those actions that were, were taken, obviously, with the best intention and because of the consciousness of limited resources. Your Excellency, this big project is an isolated case. Whether we are talking about the dualized airport road or the ongoing dualization of the major roads linking the headquarters of the five other emirates of the state, our goal is to establish legacy projects capable of sustaining the ambitious developmental needs of our people across time and space. Our vision is to replicate and, if possible, improve on those assets that attract our people to Europe, the Middle East, and Americas, so that with time, the financial hemorrhage that attends foreign expeditions will abet, and Nigeria and neighbors instead enjoy the benefits of internal tourism, where indeed we excel. We believe we can do it, and to the glory of God, the remodel house has been done, and your presence is an assertion of that humble achievement. Your Excellency, our highly respected Vice President, my dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, the scope of the project has already been described by the contractor, but suffice it to say, it comprises of this Dr. Rilwan Suleiman Grandstand, the International Conference Center, the Banquet Hall, expansion of the existing governor's residence, the new senior staff residences, other are the, others are the government house clinic, a new mosque, a firehouse, vehicle maintenance unit, central kitchen, shop and canteen powerhouse, water house, fuel service area, six number entrance gate houses with armory and two number pedestrian gates, 
and an animal house, abattoir, store, mini banquet hall, external works, drainages, etc., etc. Your Excellency, the Vice President, as we undertake today's commissioning, permit me to place on record this is simply a continuation of the infrastructural milestone that the various nooks and crannies are benefiting and the continuation of the tradition of Bochy State. And it is not a coincidence that the two governors who spoke, they are known for quality. That is Major General Abu Garba. When you go to town and you see the multipurpose building, it was built by him. Governor Ahmed Adamu Maazu is known for quality, a tested technocrat and professional, whose taste is beyond my reach, and I was very happy. When of all people, Ahmed Adamu Maazu, who is always very critical with his compliments, looked at me in the eyes and said, Bala, I am for you, that you are almost exceeding my test. Your Excellency, you made my day that day, and you don't know how much I respect you in terms of the delivery of projects and programs that most of you previously did in Boucher State. We have either built a new health facilities in some places or renovated already existing ones, primary health care centers. The package includes supplies of needed medical equipment. We have met so many in, in size, in the villages, in the rural areas, and in the towns. I don't want to bother you so much with this speech. Suffice it to say that our approach is not just to build the towns and the cities. We have even gotten an award when we are good set from the presidency who have been the best state in rural infrastructure. But again, I must acknowledge the contribution of my colleagues because we have deepened peer review mechanism. What Governor Zulumi is doing in Bono, I am very conversant with. What NYIA is doing in Gombe, in terms of infrastructure. And my brother, whom I voluntarily and discretionally met the project manager of the Northeast, the best infrastructure governor, Governor Pintry, I have borrowed so much from him. I believe all our governors, Governor Kefas, and even Yobe, in terms of agriculture, innovation, and invention, we are really sharing ideas. And today, we are lucky we have the vice president who is very knowledgeable. And we want you to give us leadership. And you are coming here defying all partisan and other consideration. It's a, an attestation of your statesmanship. And we believe we can rely on you to be able to liberate resources and knowledge to master the courage to do things that are astronomical and revolutionary in terms of good governance. We thank you most sincerely for coming. We have built so many houses, including not only in Bauchi, but all our Emirate headquarters. We are building highways and doable carriageways in all our Emirates to make them happy. We are bringing inclusion. Everybody that matter is here and is always in our heart, and we respect all the institutions, the traditional and, of course, the religious institutions. And that is what is keeping the security tick. And now we must acknowledge the contribution of our hunters and other those people that I will not mention here that are making it well. Architectronics, the company that built this, is my colleague. We worked together in the FCT. He came with a very huge pedigree and teaches from America. And I know I wouldn't have been afforded this if not because of his capacity. He almost did this project on direct level. And if I tell you the cause, you will be amazed. But this is our secret. I market you, Mr. Ruben, to other governors. Those who want to do it within good, good prices, they should liberate on your capacity because you don't see things from the point of view of profitability. Before I conclude once again, let me thank His Excellency, the Vice President, for springing, for sparing to visit our dear state and witness the dividends of democracy that our administration is bequeathing. I must thank my party, especially the chairman of the party, and all the executives who are always supportive. 
members of the National Assembly from my side, and indeed, most importantly, most importantly, my dear wife. She is always supporting and always there and opening new doors and new frontiers. Somebody that has been underrated. Today she is a chancellor owning the only open university in Nigeria. Saraunia, I thank you most sincerely for your encouragement. <laughs> Lastly, to our compatriots, we'll have the privilege of working in this trailblazing edifice, even after I have left office. And you have given me the opportunity to come back to bequeath legacies and landmarks that will be your pride. I wake up, I sleep and wake up with both in our heart. And our neighbors are also helping us. All the contiguous states of Bochi, they have been very friendly. I must apologize to my seniors, the former governors. I have not been taking care of you very well. Going forward, I will take care of that constituency. Thank you very much. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I will do the protocol. It is my singular honor and privilege because of the time of His Excellency the Vice President to have the singular honor and privilege of inviting him to commission this project to the glory of God and to humanity. And this day is our day. We really will not take you for granted. You are someone that we respect so much. Thank you.